people welcome back to my channel i am here in my office that is not done yet but i'm working on it and i just realized that my shirt matches my background so hopefully i don't look like a floating head and if i do i apologize in advance i'm also sorry for my face today i cannot find any of my makeup still since we moved i am planning on just going to go and buy more and what i have to show you guys is my january redbird vintage box I know it's now the end of February, I'm super late on this, but I still wanted to make the video and show you guys what I got because I know you guys love those videos. And in addition to my Redbird Vintage box this month, I also purchased a mystery blouse from their online sale. Usually Redbird Vintage does every few months like a closet clean out sale and they'll sell mystery items. So I got a mystery blouse here for 10 bucks. I'm not sure what it is. Like I said, it's a mystery. You just tell them what your size is and then they pick a shirt for you. So hopefully I like it. So I have that to open today as well as my regular box. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, I really want to open this mystery blouse. I'm going to do this first today because I'm really excited to see what it is. I'm excited to see if it fits. <laughs> Most importantly, I'm excited to see if I like it. So let's open up this package and see what blouse I got. It also didn't say what season it would be from, so I'm not sure if this is something I can wear now or not. In my part of the world, it is February and very cold, so I'm not sure if this is something I can wear now or if it's going to be a summer piece or maybe I can wear it in spring, but let's see. In here, I think they wrapped this. Yeah, so this is my blouse. Looks like they wrapped it in a scarf, which is cool, so I got a free scarf. You guys know I love to wear scarves on my head, so that's exciting. I really like the color of this one. It's um, it's like a gold, I guess, not quite orange, but it's got um, orange and red and brown stripes. That'll be super pretty to wear for fall. Let's untie it and see how big it is. Hopefully it'll fit on my gigantic head. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's a square scarf. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, I'm definitely going to have to iron it. It's very wrinkled, but I think it's super cute. Yeah, actually, I think it'll definitely fit on my head. It's silk, so I'm going to have to uh, bobby pin it down when I wear it because it'll slip right off. But this is really cute. I actually really like this so far. And I was not expecting to get a scarf, so that's cool. Love free gifts. Here's the shirt. They put a cute little Red Bird sticker on it, which is cool. I've actually never purchased from their closet cleanouts before. This is my first time. So I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I like that they sent me a freebie. And actually, if you look in here, it looks like I might have two blouses because I have this polka dot one. And there's also something red in here as well. I don't know if this is two shirts, so it'd be cool if it is. It looks like it might be because there's a button on this one. But let's take them out and look. Okay, so yep, definitely two things in here. This one, ooh, okay. So this one's like a burgundy, but not blouse. It almost looks like a Hawaiian top. Um, and it has shoulder pads that I can feel, so that's cool. It's, um, hmm. It looks like the tag was actually cut out of it, like the label, so I don't know who it's made by. It's also like a very unique material. It doesn't feel like cotton. It's like, I don't know. I'm bad with materials. Let's see what it says it's made out of. It says it's polyester. I actually don't know if this is vintage because if you look at the tag, it says extra large. Like it doesn't have like the measurements, you know what I mean? This might be a newer top. But I actually do think it's really cute. Like, I could see wearing this, like, tucked into a skirt, I think would be really cute. Um, this would be, like, a good transition piece as well for, like, uh, summer going into fall. Because definitely, like, the burgundy maroon color is definitely fall to me. But the material is pretty lightweight and thin. Like, you can't, you can see through it a little bit. Like, I can see some light through it. So this would definitely be a good shirt to wear when it's warmer out. I really like it though. Um, I could definitely see that with like a dark green skirt. 
I think that would be really pretty. Um, I'm gonna try that on then, but let's look at our next shirt first. Okay, so this one is a button up as well. This one has like a mock neck, which actually looks really small. I don't think I'm gonna be able to button that up all the way. Can you guys see how small this neck hole is? I'm not getting that on. <laughs> I have a big head and a big neck, so. Um, definitely can't button that up all the way, but this is a really cute top. It has like a, um, like kind of like a billowy sleeve that buttons at the end. And it's definitely sheer. You'd have to wear like a uh, tank top under it, like a white one. But I really love the polka dots. They're black, maroon, and red, which are definitely a good color. And this reminds me of, you You guys watch Rudolph, like the <laughs> polka dot and elephant, like this is his colors, I feel like. Um, but anyway, this is really cute. I like this top a lot. I'm hoping it fits me. The tag says Laura May. And it looks like very 90s. I, mean, I think that's when this is from. Maybe 80s. But this is definitely a cute top. Yeah, there's no care tag in this one. So I'm not sure what it's made out of. But it feels almost polyester like the last one. But I can't confirm. But I think this top is really cute. I'm going to try these on now for you guys. And we can see how they look. Okay, guys. So I am back with the polka dotted blouse on. And... Like I said, I have to wear a shirt under this so I know my dark bra is coming through. I apologize. But this is a really cute top. As I predicted, um, I could probably get this buttoned all the way, but it would be incredibly tight and uncomfortable. So I just decided to flip down the collar and I think that looks really cute that way. I do really like this blouse. The sleeves are like a perfect length on me, which is actually shocking because I am very short. I'm only five foot tall. I know it's like hard to tell on camera, but I am very short. So a lot of things are too big on me, but this actually fits really well. I don't know if this is a petite blouse. Like I said, the labels were removed. Eh, they'd have the designer name there, but it didn't say anything about it. Um, Another cool thing about this is that there's this flap, for lack of better words, that covers the buttons so you can't see them, which I think is unique. A lot of blouses don't have that. Not that I care about seeing buttons, but I think that's a unique feature. For all this top fits really well. I feel like I can move around in it and it's not too restricting. If you guys know, then you know, then some button ups can be really restricting. Like you can get them on, but you literally cannot move. Um, this one feels really comfortable and I really like it so far. Um, when I wear it, I definitely would, as I mentioned, put a tank top underneath just so it's less sheer. I think it's really cute. So it's a win. And two shirts for $10 is great. So that's like $5 for this top. Like that's cheaper than like the thrift store. So next I'm going to try on this top. Hopefully I love it just as much and I will see you when I have it on. Hey everybody, I am back in the next top. As you can see, I am now wearing that burgundy flowered one and this one fits really well. This is like so comfortable. Just like the last one, it fits really well. I was a little concerned because if you guys remember the last time I got tops from Redbird Vintage, they were a little bit tight. And I said when I start exercising more when it warms up over the summer, I think it would fit great. These already fit great, so that's amazing. Um, I do really like this top. I think it's really cute. It's giving resort, but <laughs> I really like it. I think I could definitely make it more like um, 50s inspired. Like I mentioned, if I tuck it into a skirt, preferably like a dark green, I think would look really nice. I don't have anything in this blue shade, but I um, could definitely find a green skirt, I think. This looks really cute. Um, let me stand up so you can see the bottom. Unfortunately, I forgot to show you the bottom of the last one, but I think it's okay. This top also hits right at my butt, so it's a good length. I think it would look really cute too if I tied it in the front and wore it like that in the summer. I think this shirt would be really nice for vacations in the summer, um, wearing when it's warm weather. And I think it's really cute. So we are a two for two. I'm glad to say that my first Redbird Vintage box 
mystery blouse purchase was a success. I love both of them and I'm really excited that I got two as well as that free scarf. It's a great deal. And now let's move on to opening our actual Redbird vintage box for January. Okay, so now we're going to move on to opening our Redbird Vintage Box for the month of January. I did request items, but I can't remember what I requested, so it's going to be a surprise until I open it and it jogs my memory. So when I open the box, I have this pink paper as usual. for the month is very pretty. Let me take it out and see what exactly that is. I don't know if that's a real crystal, but that is really pretty. It almost looks like pearl. Um, I think this is like a scarf clip, but I'm not sure. Let's take it off and see. As you can see, here's what I have. Looks like my jewelry bag. A few other things, maybe scarves. Let's see. Oh, and here's my note for the month it says so my note this month says caitlin brooch has some wear but lots of love left smiley face i hope you love your box thank you from sarah i always love how they do notes um that's why i love shopping with small businesses you get like a personalized message usually and it just makes you feel really good about shopping with them okay so here is how that looks once i Took it off of the packaging. It has this little clip on the back, which almost reminds me of an earring, and it opens like this. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a scarf clip. Let me know in the comments if it is or isn't, but that's what it looks like to me. This is really pretty. Now for our package. <clears throat> Okay, we have our jewelry bag, as usual. I love these bags they give out too. They're so convenient. I find that um, I use them for like everything. <laughs> um, and yeah, it looks like I got two scarves this month. That's cool. So I have this long one, which kind of goes with my wallpaper. It has that silver stripe like my wallpaper. That's fun. Um, this is a black and white floral scarf. It's really pretty. Next, I got this square scarf, which is pretty sheer, but as you can see, it's red. And this one is actually pretty small. I think I could probably wear this one in my hair as well. Or I could tie it onto like a bag or something like that, but I think this one is really pretty. It would have looked great on Valentine's Day, unfortunately. <laughs> Since I opened this like a month late, Valentine's Day has came late, but that's okay. We always have it for next year. I just made a quick little hair tie out of it and I think it looks really cute. I'm gonna have to remove this tag, I think. We opened our scarves, our blouses. The last thing we have to open is our little bag of jewelry here. Anyway, as you can see, when I took out everything in the bag, I have quite a few things here. Looks like I have a necklace. This pin is really pretty. And then a few other things. So let's open up everything and see what's inside. Okay, so first I have this necklace that's really pretty. I love these beads, they're like iridescent. They almost look like that oil slick color. And they have this really interesting clasp. I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't like have a hook. You kind of just slide it on, but, th but that's how it looks. And this necklace is really pretty. It would definitely be nice for a, uh, formal dress. Oh, it's tight. What? A lot of more things here, but I think this pin is really pretty, so I'm going to take that out next. So as you can see, it's this really pretty, it almost looks hand-painted floral arrangement with the black background, and it has like a gold rope almost looking um, frame around it. And it might be hand painted because there is a name on the back, but I can't see what it says. Um, if anybody can read that, let me know. <laughs> I think this is really pretty and it actually matches <laughs> my headband. So maybe we'll uh, put that on for the rest of the video. 
And I think this might be another brooch, so let's open that up and see. This is a rose brooch, and it has these really pretty purple um, gemstones on it. And then down here, there's two hearts with little pink gemstones that are dangling. They look like birthstones, but I'm not sure. Um, this is a really pretty brooch. Again, I think it would look nice with a formal outfit. It has a little bit of like wear or like rust or something on it, which I think might have been what the note was referencing about the pin having some wear, but I think it's really pretty. <laughs> and of course it has the pin back. We have another necklace, so let's open it and take a look. Yes, this is a gold necklace with some red stones in it. The chain on this one looks really short as well, like the last one, and it has a similar clasp, if you can see that. I think I'm going to need to buy necklace extenders for these because I do have kind of a wide neck. Yeah, and I feel like these are just too tight, so... Definitely gonna have to get a necklace extender online, but once I do that, I think that these will be very pretty. Again, this would look really nice for a formal event, maybe even Christmas. I could totally see myself wearing that with a really pretty dress in the winter. Like, since Valentine's Day just passed um, for a nice Valentine's Day dinner, I think that would be pretty as well if you're going to like a fancy restaurant. Ooh, this is a necklace too. I got a lot of jewelry this month. <laughs> necklace which is I love I really like pendant necklaces um this one's really pretty it's green and it fades into like a lighter green it goes like dark to light kind of like ombre and I really love the design of this one it has a simple gold chain and the clasp that we're all used to like that this is how it looks on I think this is really pretty Obviously not with this shirt, but you know, if I was wearing something else, I think this would be really cute. I'm definitely going to get some good wear out of this necklace. And then lastly here, I believe we have a ring. Let's take it out and see. I think with some flowers. It has this like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like a crisscross kind of. It kind of would look like it like wraps around your finger almost. It does fit on my ring finger, but probably wear it on this hand. Um, that's how it looks. I really do like that. That's pretty. And I don't really have a ton of rings besides like my wedding band, so it's always nice to have a pretty ring, I think. Um, I don't remember requesting any of this. I don't think I did. If I requested anything, it might have been... I think this pin kind of looks familiar, so I think I requested that. And I might have requested this green necklace. Um, other than that, I don't think I requested any of this stuff, so it was kind of a complete surprise. I didn't really know what to expect. But let's talk about what we loved. First of all, this scarf is really cute. Very comfortable in my hair, and I'm really living for it. This pin is also super cute. It looks very, like renaissance painting and I think it's really pretty um I also love this ring it fits very well and it's cute definitely see myself wearing that um also as I mentioned this green pendant necklace is really pretty I definitely see myself wearing that <clears throat> these two necklaces I do like but as I mentioned, they are too tight around my neck, so I'm going to get a necklace extender, and then once I do that, I think I can wear them. They're very formal, so I would only probably wear these for, like, special events uh, with a pretty dress, because I think they're not, like, so casual. But overall, I do like them. I think with the right outfit, they'd be really pretty. This piece of flair, this pin that I got, I think was also nice. Um... Like, it was that scarf pin, I think. 
And then lastly, this rose brooch was really pretty as well. But once again, I think that's more of like a formal item. I really do like this scarf as well. It's one of those long thin ones. I'm not sure if this could go in my hair. I'm sure it could. I'm usually used to wearing like the square ones in my hair. So I'd have to play around with this one, but I think I could make it work. And if not, I could always wear it as a traditional scarf around my neck and tie it in like a cool way. Um, and of course, I loved the blouses that I showed in the beginning that were part of my mystery purchase. Overall, that was my Redbird Vintage box for January 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite pieces were that I got today. I'd love to hear what you think. And I will see you guys next time. Next time you guys see me will probably be to finish my Beetlejuice office here. If you guys haven't seen part one, I'll link it down in the description in case you want to watch it. But that's it for me today. I will see you guys next time. Stay spooky. Bye.